Hello, hello boys and girls, here we are for possibly the last session of gameplay on Lost and Random. For every game I review, I play 25 hours or until the game is complete. So let's start the clock. I'm almost at 15 hours of gameplay and I'm at Sixtopia, which I suppose is the last city. And we are going to fight the Queen! The dread I've been feeling, it's gone! I don't know, something's still missing. But Dicey, I know we're moving in the right direction. Whoa, it's not like anything I've seen before. Okay, I don't think they spotted us. This doesn't look right, but it's got to be the place. The Grand Gate to Sixtopia. Huh? What? What happened here? I don't understand. Is this really it? Maybe this is like a fake Sixtopia. Meant to confuse invaders or something? I don't believe this! Sixtopia is supposed to be this whole wondrous place that grown ups have been telling us about since the day we were born! And it's fake? It's all a lie! Made of cardboard. What is going on? None of this makes sense. We use our polite words around. Good morning, lovelies. Good morning, Charles. Why don't you look handsome today? <laughs> oh, heck, I'm just the same old man I always was. But bless your heart for lying, lovelies. <laughs> oh, you're here too, Albert. Hey, ugly. I'm a big, stupid cardboard person, and I'm Charles' least favorite because I'm a mean, stupid idiot who falls apart all the time. Yes, yes, Albert. We're all familiar with your whole deal. Excuse me, uh, Charles? We're in a... Ha, ha, ha! We've been here for 60 years. You ought to know what's going on by now. Yeah, what gives? <laughs> Though, of course, not much actually does go on here. <laughs> you stand around and I fix you when you fall apart. Easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> Cutouts? Why, that's a fine way to refer to yourself. Don't be rude. Besides, would a cardboard cutout start talking to me five years into my job here? <laughs> it would not. And since you lovelies have been talking to me every day since, let's just say I know you're all more than what you seem. <laughs> Even if Albert here keeps losing his head over this. Huh, you love it. Of course you are, obviously. You're all real here. <laughs> No, we're real. If we were fake, could my head fall off all the time? 
Oh, no, 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 don't you dare, Albert. I've had enough of that for today by far. Oh, what do you mean I'm not real? Oh, now look what you've done. You've hurt Bedelia's feelings. There, there, Bedelia. Oh, she says mean things. I know, I know. I'm going to talk to her about it, okay? But you're real. We're all real here. Alone? Ha! I'm surrounded by friends here. <laughs> There's Bedelia, Claude. Claude too, Snuggle Buns, Eight Ball, Big Tony, Little Tony, Average Tony, the hated Albert. Eh. Boingy Boingy, Peanut Butter and Jam, they're twins. <laughs> Don, Donner, Donnist, Don Ultimate, Don Penultimate, Don Ultra Penult, Don. Well, I don't need to tell you their names. We've all been here forever. <laughs> You, 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 you don't talk like the others, do you? She sure doesn't. Should we be suspicious, Charles? I'm very suspicious. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine to be curious, lovelies. Yeah, my earliest memory. Hmm. It's when my head first fell off, 40 years ago. <sighs> No, it's when me and Patty Cakes got married 50 years ago. <laughs> no. No. It was when I was young. Just... just a child, really. The nanny came for me in that... that... that chariot that walked like a spider. She dropped me here. Told me my only task in life was to take care of these props. She said my fate was never to be anything more than a forgotten janitor. And then she disappeared, and she never came back. But all I've done for every day of my life since then was live here alone, so profoundly alone, surrounded only by these, these parodies of life mocking me every hour of every day with their ageless faces and painted on smiles and I <laughs> oh, so I thought but then five years into it y'all started talking to me and you've never stopped since <laughs> and now you're an old man surrounded by friends who'll never die ha <laughs> I sure am lovelies <laughs> ain't that a blessing <laughs> Why, I must be the luckiest guy in the whole world. Woohoo! <laughs> Not ever. I pass through sometimes. That hardly counts. They go to the tower. Look, I don't want to talk about it. Nanny's chariot passes through on its way to the tower. The children get quieter and quieter as the chariot moves away. Then we never hear them again. Oh, how I could visit them in the tower. What quiet fun they must be having. The nanny? No, not in any way that counts. That's true. Her chariot goes by sometimes, but it only goes up to the tower, up there. We hear nothing. How can they be so quiet? They're enjoying quiet fun times, Albert, and that's all I will hear on the subject. Then she's playing up in the tower all day long. How lucky. <laughs> uh, right. Why would the Queen want the nanny to take one of us cardboard cutouts? It's never happened before. Maybe she isn't really a cardboard cutout like us. <laughs> no, she is. She's just lost her mind, that's all. I'm humoring her, see? <laughs> Tell me about your sister, lovely. <laughs> Thank you.
Now, lovely, I learned long ago it's best not to make promises to yourself you can't keep. Now, where have I heard that name before? Oh, yes! Odd! The queen graced us with her presence not too long past, and she had a girl with her. Odd, she called her. She wore a white mask. I remember. She looked strange. Strangely happy, yes, as are we all. <laughs> She didn't have time to acknowledge any of us, of course. She's very busy. But they went out that way, right through there. Oh, you're welcome. We all say thanks, don't we? We sure do. It's nice to get company. It's nice to see a new face. It's nice to be remembered at all. And hey, say hi to the queen for me. <laughs> Reminder, I'm here. I'm still here. Maybe I can talk with one of them. No, I can't. Ah, it's horrible. My glassy is made out of, I don't know, despair. <laughs> D don't get it on you, buddy. This must be it. A tower. What's inside there, Dicey? Dark I can just feel it. She has to be. We've come so far, haven't we? But I still don't know for sure what you want me to do. Cards, cards here. I literally cannot have a person that's that hard. Cards, cards. Oh, hey! Oh, I've got cards to trade. <sighs> cards on the table. This is a bit outside my normal rounds, and not at all what I was expecting. But no shh, mate, God, oh, don't, don't. <clears throat> you never know who's listening, mate. I don't need cards. I would need to fight the queen. I like the one my deck makes. This is possibly the last
Oh, they heal. They heal. Canyon works really well, I'll tell you that. But now I know this red stone is healing. Okay, go back. Same way. Oh, there it is. Go there. I suppose I'll find out later. Right?
It's not a maze.
There goes T. The ghost went that way, which means I need to go through this pipe. But before going through this pipe. about the page? Maybe I'll go and come back, I don't know. Sure. Something else. that how did it I think it opened the passage that's what I think let's see the story in her victory the queen fractured the world into six isolated fragments one for each side of her one true dice and there was a new rule imposed. Every child, upon reaching the age of twelve, would roll her dice to see which district they'd move to. It was fair and just, the law of one dice instead of a chaos of many. But there was more to the story, a secret known only to a few. I almost lost this page because I think this thing opened when I completed this part of the map. Maybe other things opened that we don't know. And I'm stuck. And I'm not. Is there a map? Is no, there's no map. Oh, here. Zero side quests. Two cards. I didn't stop at the end that I'm worried about. Dicey? Ah, look at this, Dicey. I don't know why I'm getting all this. I feel it too, Dicey. Coins. You get close to it, and it's like every bone in your body is warning you to keep away. It smells like that's exactly it. Death. The goo. Almost as like it's living or used to be alive. The goo is the children. Oh, 
is a terrible story. That should be a terrible story. And there he is again. The guardsman. Oh, I got caught the train. Let me talk. Oh. No chatty, huh? Children who rolled us to the headmaster showed no mercy, and the black dice hung pushed me to endless slop. Cries echoed through rats, though their very dreams were stolen. No hope was found.
Dicey, over there. Dicey, over here. Dicey, over there. Dicey, over here. Is, is there a map? No. Seymour, is that you? Oh. Seymour. <gasps> Seymour. <laughs> is he? <laughs> Is that you even? I was just resting my eyes. <laughs> Seymour, your eyes. They didn't even make it about a number. They just took all three. <laughs> I'm gonna get you out of here. <coughs> no, even you can't. There's too many. You'll never be able to. <laughs> run! There's nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Careful, even we fight. We fight for our friends. We fight for glory. We fight for Dicey. I don't know how much longer I can. Do.
the dice again. Baby. There's nothing else I can do but heal myself. Why can't I? It's like, I think the one that we're like with. You're even tougher than I knew. The even. electricity. I couldn't. What happened to you? Uh, nanny for two and a happened to me. I'm afraid. She caught me in Forberg, captured me, tried to get me to talk about you, but I didn't tell them anything even. Told them my name was Seymour, not Talkmore. <laughs> uh. That's when... That's when she started taking my eyes. Oh, God. But what about you, even? I, I thought you were going home. W what made you change your mind? I realized. Realized what? That's bad. Or not, Odd's my only sister, and she needs me. That this is bigger than me and Odd. That the Queen's hold is a great world. I don't know. I think I could go home and live a sorry life, or I could go forward and fight. This is like this last one is like uh, wow. Braveheart. Nicely said, my friend. William Wallace shit. The Queen, she's more powerful than you think. And from what I've overheard, your sister is changed. She won't be what you expect. Oh, I'm sorry, even about all of this. We adults messed up the world, and somehow it's been left to you to fix. A child sent to face off against the most twisted and dangerous being in random, and it, it's not right. I'm sorry I can't stop you, even. Man, I'm sorry I can't help. There is. Whatever's happened to your sister, I, I don't think it's gone all the way yet. Just be careful. There's nothing I can do to help you now. Especially given my uh, current condition. I'll get your eyes back.
Whoa! Oh, oh, thank you. Now, all we have to do is survive Nanny and the Queen and her minions, and we'll fix everything. Let's go. Hey, whoa. Seymour, you're, you're in no condition to fight. You need to rest. Hey, I can't let you do it alone. I'm not alone. Seymour, when this is all over, there will always be a place for you in one town. I'd, uh, I'd like that even. Now you know, things open, things close. This is a mystery, this place. Aha, see? This is the last page. This is the last page. And everyone lived happily ever after. The end. And now that you know this amazing magical castle is out there in Sixtopia, I'm sure you'll want to live there one day too. <laughs> well, don't you worry, because everyone in Random gets their chance. Yes, some fine day, you too will grow up, roll the Queen's one true dice as black as night, and find out who you really are. And whether you're a oneer or a sixer, or anything in between. There'll be joy in your heart, and a song on your lips. Cause you'll know one thing is forever true. Random rules. What the heck? I don't like the end of the story. Oh shit, ending. Where should I go now? Nowhere to go! It's this way? Moving. I'm supposed to find someone here. Rocks are moving. I, I don't know, Dicey. Go, go, but go, 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 go. I know go. they're here somewhere. Come, Dicey. You'll never break the spirit of the rebellion. Never. She was almost there. Almost there. You can imprison my body, but not my spirit. Said that. I did what I did for the rebellion. I regret none of it. The glorious rebellion of Four Town against the Queen in the No Dice War, of course. True, I was captured, but you cannot kill an idea. Vorberg will be victorious. Villainy can never triumph. The original? What do you mean, the original? Tell me, what became of Four Town? No, it's not possible. I... I don't... I can't... Vorberg? And what of her people? Ah, you see, the city may be gone, but the spirit is thriving, just as I may be rotting here in jail, but the rebellion lives on. Even though my city may no longer stand, its ideals always will. Huzzah! Huzzah, I say! You'll never break the spirit of the rebellion. Never. Hail, kind soul, and well met! 
I'm a lost traveler from a distant land. You can imprison my body, but not oh, As notes. days bled into months, and then into years, this isn't what happens next, you know. You are in the presence of the narrator of the Queen herself. Show some respect, child. The Queen desires control. More than that, she desires not to be controlled. She reached a point where she thought I was controlling her. It would seem you're even more foolish than you look. We're narrators, child, not dictators. Ours is only to describe what happens. Stories take us places. All of us. Even narrators. And my place, it would seem, is in prison. Where I can narrate only myself. I could narrate volumes to you, child. But, like I said, that is not what happens next. Uh. Suffice it to say that when she was younger, the queen, then just a princess, she was happy. We were happy. There was such promise in her, a spark ineffable. Tragedy, something unexpected. She tried to stop it, but it is a tale long forgotten and best left that way. A narrator, we grow to reflect our subjects. I presume I was a nice narrator once, and she was a beautiful princess inside and out. And then, well, you can narrate the rest of it yourself. As days bled into months, and then into years, no one could say what would happen now, least of all me. This was not what was supposed to happen. The Queen, in her wisdom, was right to put me in here. One thing was certain. The story had taken a very dark turn. All this for a little super juice. Oh well, very eagerly. I was minding my business, and then Nanny Fortuna came, and I accidentally spilled some super juice on her. That's it. You can imprison my right? And then she arrested me and brought me to the Queen. And then I maybe spilled some juice on her. <laughs> I, I, I was thirsty. And then I tried to clean it up and kind of maybe spilled some more juice on her black dice. Hand down her dress. That was two lifetime sentences extra right there. Right? It was just one little accident. A oh, series of accidents. One tiny little series of accidents. Anyway, that's my story. Remember me? Even's narrator was so close, she just had to keep looking. Some part of Even knew her narrator was close. It was a feeling that went beyond words. You'll never break the spirit of the rebellion. Never.
I'm an explorer, man. I wanna see everything. There's two ways. I go two ways. There's three ways. I go three ways. If there's one way, I go one way. But I go all the ways. Even and her narrator were almost reunited. She was so close. She was so dramatically close. Hello, Even. Do you remember me? For I remember you. The Shadow Man. Now, now, Even. We both know that's not true. You're probably wondering why I'm here and not out there picking my teeth with the bones of the disobedient. I suppose it makes no difference to tell you. The Queen hired me all those years ago to kill that meddlesome King of Freedom and to start their war. Of course I knew that. Oh, I was paid, but I would have done it for free. The Queen wanted to ensure his children would tear each other apart in the years and decades to come. And they did. I gave the Queen her endless war. I did brilliant work. Oh, but she played even me, you see. She promised me the people would fear the Shadow Man beyond reason. But they didn't. My rule was kept secret. And instead, they grew to fear war, their own deaths. And when I finally had enough, when I finally threatened to reveal the truth to everyone, well, well here, here I, I am. am. Don't think I will. Don't you know that a good story never dies, little one? And every story needs a villain. I'll be out of here one day to live nastily ever after. No, you won't. I got all cards, no side quests, things are complete. Ah, there you are, my friend. Thank you for the rescue. Now, I can get back to my job of narrating. <clears throat> the narrator said, narratively. Who are you? I mean, weird. Yeah, it's uh, you. There you are. Whoa, 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 wait. You can hear me? Why? I can. I always could. I'm your narrator. And you too, little fellow. It was hard being alone. I felt like half a person, if that makes sense. Well, it would be strange if you didn't. I am your narrator, after all. Oh, but it is nice to know when one's work is appreciated. But you can hear me now, and we should make the most of that while we can. One never knows how long it will be until the old authorities reassert themselves. We've got a quest to finish, my friend, and I stand ready to describe it if you stand ready to live it. Let's. Now then, where were we? <clears throat> ah, yes. A girl, her dice, and her narrator were reunited at last. Behind them, 
the wreckage of all that had stood in their way. Ahead of them, the queen and her minions. Even squared her shoulders and strode forward toward her destiny. No, oh, I thank you. This used to be a beautiful palace, a place of learning, of magic, of... Oh, yes, Dicey. It was also a place of dice. I suppose this is the... This is the way. echoed with the laughter of children were now still empty and desolate. Oh, right. Except for Even and her amazing friend Dicey, who was uh, great, did you say? Who was, and I quote, great and awesome to the max. Yes, you are, Dice. Dice, come on! <laughs> yes, you are. another way am I lost yeah this is just another way just another way well hi Matty Dex here card enthusiast and living store at your service yeah just another way I'm done here I don't need more cards <laughs> you want to trade your cards? I know you too. Nope.
sixer, baby. Save this guy. Use this guy.
Got this, boys. The dark crystals had appeared in the same age as the castle's fall, but they were not the cause of this destruction, merely an effect of it. There was something much darker here. Way to creep us out, Mr. Narrator. The tower. The tower. The remains of the castle were quiet, almost serene. But within them still dwelled a great power. Here goes nothing, Dicey. Forget the castle. Point taken. Here goes everything. Here goes everything, Dicey. Oh, oh, I'm locked in. And then she'll say, Welcome, welcome, even. I was waiting for you. Now you oh, can be the queen. Look at this place. It is. Stunning. And it's been lived in recently. We're not alone here, Dicey. Well, the gate was locked. But where was the key? Even wasn't sure. And neither was Dicey. But... But... They had the feeling they could find what they sought if they looked below. these things that's concerning wait nanny fortuna was coming quick hide now now hurry up with your scrumptious little children what does scrumptious mean miss? it means keep walking and stop asking questions the one to dice does not like to wait where did i put Come on, that key has got to be here somewhere. The key even was looking for. She just knew it had to be here somewhere. Ugh, not your most helpful narration, bro. was easy. There you are again. You ain't dealt a bad hand, have you? No. He doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Cards on the table. This is a bit outside my normal rounds, and not at all what I was exp- Shh, mate, you You never know who- Climb the terrifying upper tower and face our destiny. Yeah, you're not in any danger here. Even, do you know what happens to a narrator? The person they're narrating dies. Uh, no. Me neither, but I'm sure it's not good.
Jesus, one again? I have nothing to do with one. I won't put another one. Sixer. Princesses, the two of them were the exact same ages as even and odd. Those masks. Uh, yeah. Maybe she's my mom. Queen's throne. It is from here that the Queen rules the fate of random with the roll of her dice. But where was she now? I 
I've been here. I checked all of this. It was in this very throne room that the queen would roll her dice to decide today's fate. It was in this very throne room that the queen would roll her dice to decide today's fate and personality of the poor inhabitants of Two Town. Forburg, a fallen city built on the ruins of its past self. Another insane system. Sheep. Sixtopia, a glittering city of cardboard, made to give the poor people of Random something to aspire to. The biggest and most cynical lie of them all. This can't go on. <laughs> yeah. One croft, even in Hod's home. It was home. My family's there, and I miss them, but... But I honestly don't know where home is anymore. Freedom. It was a land and a family torn apart by an endless, futile war. Five Tropolis, once a land of creativity and magic. Now, little more than a robot factory. There were good people there. We've all been twisted by her. And we can't even see it. We're fish. This was it. The point of no return. Whatever the end was, even and Dicey were going to meet it. Listen, Dicey, whatever happens next, I just want you to know. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm not too good with uh feelings and stuff, but I just want to say I've I never love become you. best friends with someone faster. And we've saved each other's lives countless times. And uh, well, thank you, Dicey. Everything. <laughs> right back at you, bud. Now, let's go kick that queen's evil butt together. Such a beachy. Hiding, hiding. Is, uh, is over here good? Hod! Now then, children, inside that black dice is your ultimate destiny. <laughs> well, if it isn't the one from one town, even, was it? Poor girl, you've marched all this way alone, only to find your own end waiting for you. Only I'm not alone, Nanny. And it seems to me that the only end I've been marching towards is yours. <laughs> nice! Yeah! Such impudence of demands punishment! You again.
I've asked you now, but now it's time to give Nanny that dice! Little girl, a bit rough dead. I'll take your dice and I'll eat your head! <laughs> Nanny will eat your bones and snarl.
Let me give you some advice. Devices, Nanny. My face! One again. Fuck. I don't know if I'm gonna hear Six, let's go, baby. I suppose it is one's lot in life when one is a nanny to suffer doing someone else's hard work while they reap all the benefits. <coughs> Eventually, everyone leaves you behind, don't they? And any love they held for you is Temporary, transactional. <coughs> I did my job, a child. I followed orders, and none of us would be in this mess now if you'd followed your parents' orders and stayed home. <laughs> Such unearned confidence. You know, everyone is so quick to judge her. But the Queen really likes you even. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> well, there's a lot of that going around, child. You're not a popular person here. Now then, run along before you're too late. <laughs> Die Maschinen. Ups. Well, where are we? I see. Are you seeing this? These are children. These are children. Through that portal? You sure it's safe? The opposite of reassuring. But okay. Those poor children. It's... it's so much worse than I... than I... Is the black goo coming from their heads? Their... brains? The black dice is mining those poor children for their nightmares. Their darkest dreads, their most agonizing miseries, coalescing them into the... The robots, the dark twisting of the arenas, all of it. It's all powered by those helpless kids' nightmares. There are few things more powerful than unbridled fear. This place, it, uh, it feeds on it. It's a sacrifice. Oh, you mad queen. Hey, even. That's lucky, isn't it? That is her. She's still alive. Oh, then Arj didn't kill her after all. She might not be as far gone as I thought. Oh, Odd. No. I hope you're okay. Odd pushed, pushed her to be here. Oh, masters of the one true dice. Have my sacrifice has not been ample. Have you not long feasted on paranoia, bitterness? Fear What's the sad story you're gonna tell me, Mad Queen? I did this because my mother. Are you not satisfied? Have I not been good to me. you, my three lords, since that first moment of your summoning? Uh, guess we're doing this. You have given me power over randomness since we first began our exchange. And we have both found it profitable. But I have no heir, and I cannot let this great work falter. I beg you for just one more boon. Just a taste of your power. dominion over chance itself with my successor just as i once did to you this child has proven herself worthy to me she will please you just as i have she will keep up my end of the bargain 
so that you can keep up yours. My Dark Lords, I beseech you, let my power be shared, and I swear that two souls shall then worship you evermore. What the heck are you doing here, dude? Right. I have no idea how I got here either. <laughs> but you're here, I'm here, and no matter how the cards are stacked, we still have hope. And the chance to do some business. <laughs> it sure has, and you've been great, mate. So listen, mate. Cards on the table now. I want to help. You need something before your big fight? Because the way I figure it, if the Queen wins, then you lose, and I lose my best customer. My only customer, really. I know we try to keep things light between us, but you saved me, mate. Before you, nobody bought cards. I was in danger of losing the store. Oh, it gets dark, mate. You're the only one who ever wanted to buy cards. And you... So it seems to me, you're just the one to save everyone else too. I'm in your corner. Just like you've been in mine all... Now then, let's get to it. Uh, I would like to make a change of cards, actually. I don't think that there is a board game there. So, I can take this, got two of these. I want to keep my sonic boom, but I think I should have uh, more It's called this boy. This boy. Yeah. There will surely be ads. sister, the one who's always had it so easy her entire wanna life, now thinks she knows what's best for me? Odd. Or maybe you're just jealous that I've grown up and of the power I'm about to receive. Is that it? She chose me, even. It is sad to see such pettiness embodied in someone so young. She's standing between you and your power. And remind me, Odd, what do we do to those who stand in our way? We destroy them, my queen. Ah, so we do. I'm gonna fight my sister. No! I don't want to fight you, Odd. Even you've always been so young. Far too young to see that none of this is about what you want.
My deck is not good for this fight. Where is that? Annoyance, a stray little dog nipping at my heels. Oh, don't speak that way. And strange. Good. Damn. Powerful that I don't have to do anything. Okay, now this will be useful. But now I don't have the necessary uh, tools. If you know what I mean. Okay, 
Oh, don't listen to her. Six, finally, let's go. Shut 
Enchanted Lady. No! Dicey! Even! Jump! No! That is a turn of events. Sorry, that that mask. I I became so petty, so afraid, and oh, oh, even I hated myself. No, 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 Odd. I love you. I love you no matter what. Even. I'm weaker without her. Like everything good and strong in me is. <sighs> we'll help you, Odd. I've got some help. Stop right there, Hold you betrayers! On. A secret passageway? How did you... It's one of the Queen's secret passageways. All I know is she hated me poking around it. Then I say it's our best chance. Where's Let's Dicey? Go. You can't escape. This is my territory. Your story ends here, you urchins. Ah! you a kingdom and you chose the dirt come back here you wretches dicey dicey over here to replace. She looks so sad, frozen at the moment of her death. You know nothing! Nothing! Ow. This is none of your business, and neither is that dice! Hector, you fool. I'll never allow you or any other...
can you hope to win? One unexpected random element, a one and nobody against the Queen! You're ruining everything! Everything! And I won't let you! Randomness, you die. you fool. I'll never allow you or any other agents of randomness to hurt my sister. Can you hope to win? One unexpected random element, a one and nobody against the Queen! You're ruining everything! Everything! And I won't let you!
<laughs> you see, you are nothing without that cursed dice. to let her go. No, no! I won't let you die! If she dies, then I've failed, that all of this was futile. This whole world can burn for all I can, as long as she lives! <coughs> <laughs> Alexandria, I... I'm not worth it. Shh, don't say that. Of course you are. I love you. I love you. Please. It hurts. It hurts all the time. Even when time stops, it's still... <laughs> Let me go, sis. I, I can't wait for you here, but I promise I'll wait for you there. No, don't. Don't. We'll play again, okay? Just you and me. Natalia! Just you and me. What's going to happen? 
even, we could land anywhere in random. We could end up lost. Nah. And as for what happened next, well... Did you hear something? GG Let's see what happens now Oh, that's the end Result. Oh, I didn't know that. Forty eight of sixty six cars. That's because I didn't need more. Okay. And if I do this, oh, it's the end. Odd, come on, okay. hurry! Okay, boys. This was lost in random. Um. Thanks for watching, and soon the game review will be up in the website. Let me stop the clock for the last time. See you around.